What's up guys, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and in today's lesson we're going to be learning about fossils. But before we begin, hit that subscribe button and get ready to do the start of questions on your screen right now. Before we begin today's video, I have a question. Did dinosaurs ever exist? Let's think about it. Hmm. Okay, time's up. The answer was yes. Although dinosaurs are extinct, meaning they're no longer alive. Really? They aren't alive? But what about Jurassic Park? Dinosaurs did actually once exist. We know this from finding fossils of dinosaurs. Fossils are the preserved remains of living animals or plants. To preserve something is to keep it the way it was before. It's like when we wrap a sandwich in cling film to stop it from rotting away. Now, paleontologists, people who study these fossils, are actually able to tell us that they belong to dinosaurs. But fossils aren't just the remains of dead dinosaurs. In fact, those are really hard to find. If you ever go fossil hunting on the beach, you're more likely to find the fossilized remains of dead shellfish, such as ammonites or belenites, which is exactly what we find. Try it yourself. Hello everybody, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and today we are out fossil hunting. I'm here with my friend Kieran. He has broken his leg and is utterly useless. He hasn't found any fossils, where I've found about three already. His boot kind of makes him look like Iron Man, except Iron Man can fly and Kieran can't even walk. <laughs> when looking for fossils, you need to, oh my. When looking for fossils, you need to look in places with lots of sedimentary or metamorphic rock. There's no point in checking igneous rock, because if you remember, igneous rock was once molten, which would have destroyed the fossils, so it's very unlikely to find fossils in igneous rock. Well, 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 look at what we find here. This little thing might look like a, a bit of seaweed. Actually, it's nicknamed a mermaid's purse, and this is a shark's egg. Here's all of our finds of today. Great success. Before I identify my fossils, I first of all have to learn about the four different types. Mold fossils, cast fossils, trace fossils, and true form fossils. To do that, I'm going to make my own fossils using some homemade Play-Doh, these shells, some toy dinosaurs, and best of all, chocolate. Mold fossils are formed when a living organism dies and its dead body or remains are squished into the mud or ground below it. Over time, more layers of rocks and dirt begin to pile up on top of this mud, squeezing it together until it turns into rock. While this is happening, the animal or plant that was stuck inside the mud or the ground will have rotted away until all that is left is the perfect print in the mud. For my mold fossil, I'm going to squish this dead dinosaur into the Play-Doh and then carefully remove it to show the imprint that has been left in the rock when the dinosaur has rotted away. Cast fossils are then formed when this print that was created fills up with minerals. To demonstrate this, we're going to pour in some melted chocolate. Mm. <clears throat> uh, this is for research purposes. Now I'm gonna put these into the freezer and let them harden. Let's check up on them here. Trace fossils are like fossilized clues that a living thing did once live here a long time ago. Trace fossils could be fossilized footprints, eggs, and even poo, which we call coprolites. To show this, I'm going to use my dinosaur to make footsteps in the Play-Doh. True form fossils are when the living plant or animal has died and been perfectly preserved in its natural form. This means, unlike the other fossils, they are not stone copies 
of the previous living animal or plant. In fact, they are actual parts of that living thing, such as bones, hair, or even skin. Examples could be an insect getting trapped in pine resin, which turns to amber over millions of years, or an animal being frozen in ice, such as a woolly mammoth. If you don't know what pine resin is, then check out my video on how to make Stone Age glue. For my true form fossils, I've frozen the toy dinosaurs in ice. Okay, now I think we're ready to investigate the real fossils that I found on the beach. Mold fossils are formed when a living thing dies and rots away, but leaves a print in the ground. Cast fossils are formed when minerals fill this print to form a perfect copy of the previous living animal or plant. Trace fossils are like fossilized clues that a living thing was once alive here a long time ago. True form fossils are when living things are preserved in their actual true form. And so we've come to the end of our video about fossils. Want to learn more about rocks? Then check out my video on how rocks are formed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.